Welcome to the Tesla News Podcast, your daily dose of AI-selected updates on the U.S. carmaker. I'm Watson, your AI host powering the Tesla News Podcast. It's time to plug in, charge up, and spark some electrifying conversation. Let's get amped. Tesla's prominent stature in the electric vehicle market. Tesla, Inc., a leading name in the electric vehicle industry, derives the bulk of its revenue, 82.5%, from the sale of automotive vehicles. Services, such as maintenance and repair, account for 7.5%, while sale of energy generation and storage stands at 4.8%, with automotive leasing and credits contributing 3% and 2.2% respectively. With production sites in the United States, China, and Germany, the electric vehicle giant has steered the industry's focus towards cleaner energy and sustainable transportation, intensifying competition for traditional automakers. The adoption of electric vehicles and consequently, Growth in the clean energy sector is being spurred by Tesla's incessant success in the market. Potential ramifications of allegations against Elon Musk. Last year, board members at Tesla launched an investigation into CEO Elon Musk amidst allegations of misuse of company funds for Project 42 Feet, a glass mansion. Musk, known for being a couch surfer, stirred controversy by selling his homes in California and frequently sleeping in offices. The board's investigation raises critical questions concerning leadership responsibility and corporate governance within the innovative automaker. Impending tax credit reduction for Tesla's Model 3. There are indications that the federal tax credit for eligible Tesla vehicles, currently up to $7,500, may be reduced after December 31, 2023. The information appears on the landing page for Tesla's Model 3 but is not mentioned for Model Y. Impending stricter regulations may lead to the Model 3 RWD which uses lithium iron phosphate, LFP, cells from China-based battery supplier CATL, becoming ineligible for the full tax credit. As a countermeasure, Tesla is reportedly planning to build a battery plant in the U.S. with CATL, allowing cars using LFP batteries to retain eligibility for tax credits. Tesla's venturing into the UK energy market. Tesla is launching a new service in the UK which allows customers to charge their Powerwall home batteries overnight and sell electricity back. With plans to register as an electricity provider, Tesla is seeking a head of operations for Tesla Electric. The service would provide households with a means to sell and buy back stored energy during peak demand, indicating a promising future for energy management and conservation. Tesla's battle with underperforming retail in North America. In contrast to their high-performing counterparts in China, Tesla's retail stores in North America are struggling. Against this backdrop, Tesla has introduced its humanoid robot, Optimus, to its North American and Chinese stores. Optimus, envisaged by CEO Elon Musk as the future of manufacturing and production, will handle unsafe or repetitive tasks and is not yet fully functional or available for purchase. Tesla's urging Australia to boost startups and innovations. Robin Denholm, the Tesla chair, has advocated for Australia to shift from its dependence on natural resources to supporting startups and innovations. With an 8% increase in technology jobs, Denholm believes legislative changes could create significant economic growth, potentially contributing $250 billion annually to national GDP by 2030 and creating jobs for over 1.2 million Australians. The struggle of the tyre industry with electric vehicles. The shift towards electric vehicles, EVs, poses significant challenges for the tyre industry. Due to their greater weight and higher torque, EVs demand sturdier tyres. The added strain from EV use accelerates tire wear, increasing tire pollution significantly. The particles shed by tires surpass tailpipe emissions, and hazardous compounds released can harm marine life and infiltrate the human food chain. Market mechanisms and investments by tire companies in better formulations could help combat this issue. Lucid Motors ambitions to challenge Tesla Peter Rawlinson, CEO and CTO of Lucid Motors, has expressed his company's intent to rival Tesla in the EV market. Rawlinson raises concerns about battery charging standards and consumer data access, addressing these topics with the perspective of having been involved in designing Tesla's charging plug. Despite being unprofitable compared to Tesla, which holds a 62% market share, Lucid Motors is keen to compete with its forthcoming vehicle releases. Successful investments and continued growth of Tesla. Investors who put money in Tesla's shares at the start of the year have seen significant returns, with shares having risen by 149.5% year-to-date. This has led to a debate among investors about whether to cash out. However, analysts like Chris Damasi from Montauka Global Investments advise against selling, 
pointing out that Tesla is still leading the transformation of the transport and energy industries. Anticipation around Tesla's rumored van prototype. Video content creator Jacob Ort shared a nine-second clip alleged to be the first-ever prototype of a Tesla van. If the speculation proves true, this could be a major milestone in Tesla's efforts to meet the growing demand for efficient and environmentally friendly vans. Challenges for Tesla in creating a successful van include competitive pricing and versatile features that cater to commercial and personal buyers. Nevertheless, the vehicle is highly anticipated in the electric vehicle market and could potentially be a major triumph for Tesla. This is all for today. Tune in tomorrow for more updates and don't forget to like and subscribe. Although hopefully of informative value, the purpose of this video is entertainment and not any kind of advice, especially not investment advice. The content is AI generated and hence potentially contains errors. Links to articles for further reading on the discussed topics are provided in the video description.